Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alexis Oladipo. I'm a food entrepreneur for those of you who do not know me. I love to cook. It's one of the things that I love and I'm very passionate about. I'm not a chef or anything like that. I'm just some random individual who just loves to cook and shares her recipes on YouTube and her website, which is alexisoladipo.com. Make sure you check that out. Um, yeah, and today guys, I'll be showing you how to make creamy mushroom and king prawn gnocchi. Now gnocchi is, um, it's, it's a pasta but it's made from potatoes. It's very starchy, it's not the best thing to eat but it is so delicious and it's very, very yummy. And just depends on how you cook it. It's not something you wanna eat all the time but it is a really nice dish to have every now and then. And I'll be sharing with you today my recipe. So make sure you guys stay tuned. Um, subscribe to my channel please. Tell your friends, share on social media. If you do make this recipe and you do love it, make sure you share it with me on Instagram by tagging and hashtagging Lexi's recipes or you can tag me or find me at Lex London. All the information will be below. And um, yeah guys, just make sure you stay tuned and I'll be showing you how I make this yummy recipe. See you in a second. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Alexis Oladipo. you need to do guys is make sure you put on the kettle this is for your gnocchi because um, you need to boil it on a very very high temperature for one minute so the water literally needs to be piping boiling hot okay so guys to make your creamy mushroom sauce you need to cut chunky you know portions of mushrooms you really really don't want them to be small because they kind of just disappear and you won't see them again and then we have mascarpone so you have cream cheese mascarpone and fresh single cream to make your mushroom sauce. We're also gonna use Parmesan cheese. Um, that will be grated into the sauce and over the pasta once it's done. I have grey tiger prawns here. Like I always mention, grey tiger prawns raw are the best. If you buy the pink ones, they shrivel up even more and they disappear into thin air. You won't see them, you won't enjoy them. So try and get grey raw prawns because they get all big and swollen and they're just juicy and yummy. And then I have some spinach, baby leaf spinach, and my gnocchi, of course, which is the main ingredient that we'll be using to make the pasta. And that's what we have here. I also have some really like big tiger prawns that I'm just gonna use to decorate my pasta on the top. You guys don't have to do it, you can just stick with these, but I've also got these. I've already pre-seasoned with um, coriander, chili flakes, salt and pepper. Literally, that's it, and a bit of lemon juice. So to make our cream cheese, guys, um, turn on your hob, of course, and pour in about half a cup of fresh cream. Whoa. <laughs> Accident. Yeah, that wasn't meant to happen. <laughs> I left the pot in for too long, but yeah. Pour in your fresh cream also your mascarpone and then add in your cream cheese and just mix until it kind of breaks away into a thick creamy consistency if you find that your um, cream is too thick you can always add um, some hot water from the kettle that you boiled for your gnocchi so I'm going to do that because this is quite thick and as you can see, it's not boiling, it's just on a low temperature because what you don't want is for the sauce to start burning. And there you go, you can see that there's no more lumps and you've got a nice, smooth, creamy sauce base. So you've got a smooth consistency, add your mushrooms. And season with some black pepper and pink Himalayan salt. And we're gonna grate some Parmesan into um, the cheese sauce, but be generous with the amount of um, parmesan that you put in. The more parmesan for me, the better. And then just mix that all up in there. I'm also gonna go ahead and add um, a clove of garlic, just to give it some more flavor and make it smell real good. Guys, now the creamy sauce is simmering away on the stove, we're gonna move over to our king prawns. Um, I'm gonna grill them on a grill pan and um, show you how I do that. 
and then we'll move on to the gnocchi which is really quick and easy that's why it's literally the last thing to do so i'm going to use coconut oil to grill my prawns so about a tablespoon should do absolutely fine the prawns took about literally two three minutes to get ready or five minutes let's just be on the safe side so in the time that you make your prawns the creamy sauce should be ready it smells so delicious and that's really more or less ready and good to go i'm still going to show you how to make um our massive king prawns with the shell just so you can see how that's also done so like i said guys these are already seasoned with coriander dried herbs um chili salt and pepper and i kind of scored them down the back so i have them like butterfly prawns and i'm going to lay them down this way into my grill pan So can you see guys, this is what you're kind of aiming for, that brownness that you get with a grill pan, it's just amazing. I'm just going to flip these over now and cook the rest of the sides of the prawns. So now we're going to go and move on to our gnocchi and the first thing you want to do is take that boiling water that you bought earlier and pour into your pot. So that's boiling really nicely now. Next thing you want to do is just add your gnocchi into the pot. Oops. And literally watch the clock for one minute. And what you want to do is you want to stir it for about that one minute. Because if you leave it for more than a minute, minute and a half maximum, what you're going to get is really mushy gnocchi and it's going to basically be mashed potato and you don't want that. So make sure a minute and a half, no longer, your gnocchi will be ready. That's what, you're, you can't see it really from the camera, but if I pick it up and squeeze, you can see ah, hot, <laughs> how soft that is. And it cooks very quickly. So I'm gonna quickly get this out of the water now because it's actually been two minutes. So now that you've drained all the water out of your gnocchi, you can take your mushroom creamy sauce and just pour it in like so. And on a low heat, you just wanna stir that ever so gently and then you can also go ahead and add your king prawns and i'm also going to add um my spinach leaves this is all cooking on a very low heat by the way and you want to mix this in until the spinach leaves have bloated completely and are completely soft and there you have it that's ready that's it guys it's ready it's good to go that's your creamy mushroom king prawn gnocchi pasta how good does that look oh my gosh i have to try this mm. so that's it guys thank you for watching i really hope you enjoyed this recipe um it is absolutely yummy it's so delicious i know you guys are gonna love it anyway make sure you share your pictures any demonstrations that you've done anything i just want to see your take on my recipe so make sure you hashtag lexi's recipes on twitter facebook instagram wherever you are on social media hashtag away make sure you follow me all the details will be down below and leave your comments and suggestions anything else that you'd like me to make please let me know anything else you'd like to see leave your questions below i will happily answer them thank you guys so much for watching and i hope to see you soon